This is a guide to help you swim butterfly without getting tired. It consists of five phases. I'm not saying that you will watch this video and you will immediately go to the pool and swim hundreds of yards without breaking a sweat. No, no, on this video, I will show you a series of progressive exercises that you can do that if done well and often will help you create muscle memory for a smooth, easy butterfly. Along with muscle memory, you will develop endurance that is basic for all things swimming. I did a video a while ago about exercises for core muscles for dolphin kick. If you haven't seen it, I recommend watching it since it will help you with your butterfly too. If you have core strength, then swimming butterfly is much easier. If you do have some core strength and you still can swim butterfly without getting extremely tired, then chances are your timing is off. To perfect your technique, let's begin with some shoulder warm up. Remember that this is the hardest stroke on your shoulders, so you need to warm them up well before swimming. Now let's do the butterfly kick to warm up the core and leg muscles. This exercise is quite challenging, but it helps you focus on a quick breath and using your legs properly. So put your hands to your sides and dolphin kick your way across the pool. Remember to use your chest, your hips, and then your legs. Now, this one is a bit easier. Try doing dolphin kick on your back while holding a kickboard on your hands and keeping it above the surface. This will help you keep the arms in place. Now, doing kick like this with a board will help you stretch your shoulders to the range of movement that you will need to swim butterfly without getting tired. Try exaggerating the movement of the chest and leaving the shoulders on the surface with the board. This one is a little bit more technical, but it will help you reduce unnecessary efforts while you swim. Kick with your arms straight in front and pull your body forward with your head coming out of the water just barely to take a breath. Then recover your hands under water like so and start again. Remember that your goal is to swim smoothly by identifying and correcting all the ineffective swimming techniques. In butterfly, the arms should pull your body forward and not up like many of us do. This is the best way of correcting that. I recommend doing this exercise for about 425s every time you plan on swimming butterfly. Now, if you want more power in your pool, this exercise is helpful. It helps if you swim in a deeper pool, but just try not to touch the floor. Get your arms on this position. Your head should be in front of your shoulder line. If you're not quite there yet, it means that you need more shoulder flexibility. We have a video about shoulder flexibility, by the way. Now, pull yourself out of the water like this and repeat. This emulates your stroke, but with gravity forcing you to do a bit more effort. The next stage is to do butterfly with one arm. This is much easier than doing butterfly with both arms, but you need to focus on the position of the head and hips. These two parts, the head and the hips, will guide the undulating movement of the body. Once you dominate this part, you can do the same exercise but with your resting arm down by your side, like this. This is slightly harder because you don't have the leverage of the other arm to get your head out. So this will help you use your other arm more effectively. Once you can do around 100 meters of catching arm butterfly without really getting tired, you can move on to the next phase. On this phase, your mission is to do this exercise without getting tired. Do one arm butterfly, then the other, then do one or two full strokes. This exercise is good because it helps you recover your arms before the next full stroke cycle. It also helps your coordination and concentration. Once you perfect this stroke exercise to the point where you can swim relaxed but smooth and at a constant speed, you can do the next phase of exercises. You can do exercises all day long, but at the end of the day, there is no escaping the real thing. Swimming full butterfly is what will help you the most. If your shoulders are strong, your core is tight, and you have good ankle flexibility, 
Now that you have worked on your technique, you are all set to swim a smooth and fast butterfly. Just remember to warm up properly and stretch afterwards. I hope you use this guide and up your butterfly game to the next level. If you like what we do, one of the best ways to support us, besides watching our videos, is visiting our website. We have swim caps and more swimming content there. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Swim fast.